This is a blueprint for the class. So if you want to just copy it, I've already written it. I'm also going to put it in the description. So that's that. And the one that initializes it is this. So let's get going. In the second folder that I've created, I'm going to make a Ruby file called main. This is going to be the file that would instantiate our class. And let's make another class called car, which would represent the car class. So you start by the keyword class, all lowercase, and then the name of the class. Make sure you close it by the keyword end. Here you can start by the constructor method initialize. It's a method, so you put def first, and the name of the method is initialize. And then you can also pass it parameters. You want to, for example, make a car with 50 gallons of gas. So you identify the variable. So let's call it gas. And then you have to also close this function. Here you can set the properties of the class with the at sign. So let's set the instance variable car gas to the value that the user passes in the variable in parentheses. So this is a very simple class. We can also have a method to return or get the value of the gas or the instance variable. So let's just call it get gas. And that's just going to return the instance variable that we defined up here. So let me change that car gas, finish that. And then in the other file, we need to tell Ruby to bring this file in. So from Ruby 192 and above, you use require relative to look at the current folder. And, and you put in the name of the file without .rb. So now we have that in there. Then you can just make a car object by the new keyword and you can pass in the value that you want to instantiate the object with so in this case let's say pass it 60 and then if you want to see if it works you can print it out let's just say the value of the gas is and then you can grab the value from that method and let's see if it works we're just going to do ruby and then the name of the file and there we go. You can also set setters for this class. You can say set gas value and then let's end it here. You can define the new variable and set the instance variable to the new value. In here now I'm going to set the gas value, say to 70. I'm just going to copy this again so that we can see the difference. Now the value of the car, now we expect it to be 70. So that works fine too. 